Hello, and welcome to Popcorn News, something to watch while you eat popcorn. Do not try to comprehend it all, nay, just eat the popcorn. First, a message from our sponsor. Mr. Blair said that he doubted Stanton's integrity and stated a damaging fact which was within his own personal knowledge, but which it is not necessary here to repeat. The statement astonished the President and disconcerted both Seward and Chase, each of whom questioned whether there might not be some mistake in this matter, but Blair said there could be none, and farther that he, Stanton, was a protege of Black, Buchanan's Secretary of State, and in feeling with him, the President remarked he thought it judicious to conciliate and draw in as much of the democratic element as possible. People are flabbergasted to hear of the latest Wells Fargo caper. Relentless pressure, unrealistic sales targets, a culture built on selling as many products to customers as possible. Former Wells Fargo employees say that is what they faced on the job. Now the bank struggling to rebuild trust in an industry already fighting a greedy banker reputation. Two million fake accounts secretly created. 5,300 employees fired. Wells Fargo fined $185 the million. Wells Fargo dollars. Executive now the executive who led the fake accounts unit is leaving with a fat payday. She was already set to retire at the end of the year. She'll walk away with $124 million in shares, options, and restricted stock. $124 million. It Here is a cartoon from the local newspaper of September 15th, 2016. I gotta check here. See, the, the teller is the one that's holding up the customer. In, in, in the cartoon, uh, it says, at the overbearing bank, at the overbearing bank, it is the teller who is robbing the customer, says the teller while pointing a pistol at the customer, sir, I need you to open five checking accounts, a brokerage account, an annuity, and a 30-year mortgage. Now! Well, this uh, Wells Fargo caper uh, is reported by CNN Money on September 9th. Everyone hates paying bank fees. But imagine paying fees on a ghost account you didn't even sign up for. That's exactly what happened to Wells Fargo customers nationwide. On Thursday, federal regulators said Wells Fargo employees secretly created millions of unauthorized bank and credit card accounts without their customers knowing it. And this is started in 2011. The phony accounts earned the bank unwarranted fees and allowed Wells Fargo employees to boast their sales, to boost their sales figures and make more money. <laughs> And people weren't even told that these accounts had been opened in their names. Wells Fargo was in the news this past week, speaking of a basket of deplorables. According to OpenSecrets.com, I'll tell you about Wells Fargo to put it into the context of the overall global 
and American financial system. It is one of the largest banking and financial services holding companies in the world. Wells Fargo is a powerful political player. The company, which is considered one of the four major banks in the United States, acquired Wachovia in 2008 and does business with one in three households in the U.S. Uh, Wachovia, of course, <laughs> admitted to $378 billion in money laundering of Mexican drug cartels and then uh, Wells Fargo which is mostly majority owned or the largest shareholder is Warren Buffett's uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Anyway, they have contributed $256,616 to Hillary Clinton's campaign, executives and individuals from Wells Fargo, $0 to Donald Trump's campaign. So regarding this basket of deplorables, here's the headline, 5,300 Wells Fargo employees fired over 2 million phony accounts. On Thursday of last week, federal regulators said Wells Fargo employees secretly created millions of unauthorized bank and credit card accounts without their customers knowing about it since 2011. 2011, of course, was after what the $9.7 billion in fines that Wells Fargo paid and after the many times they promised not to commit any sort of fraud again. Well, apparently they have. Yeah, well, the balance sheets of these banks are full of bonds that are worth not even a penny on the dollar but they claim they're worth 100 cents on the dollar so they go to the central bank and they say we, we need more quantitative easing we need more free money give us more money to keep the rolling our bad debts on our balance sheet and the central banks accommodate them but still the debts increase they find they need new ways to keep themselves from having to declare they're insolvent wells fargo and these other banks are technically insolvent uh, and so they just tell their thousands of employees, go to your customers and steal their money. Open two million fake accounts, steal their money, give it to us so we can keep rolling these bad debts. Warren Buffett says nothing. Charles Munger says nothing. Uh, and uh, as you pointed out, they acquired a Wachovia, which laundered hundreds of billions from Mexican drug cartels. There was never any consideration. They paid a small fine. You've got moral hazard. You've got uh, the legitimiza legitimization of um, criminal behavior. If you're, if you're not a criminal, you're, you're at a disadvantage in the United States economy.